Hello and welcome back to another Farming Simulator 17 Giants Editor Tutorial and today what I'm going to look at is how to set up the hotspots on your map for the actual icons that are displayed on the PDA. As you can see here I've come over by a, a cow husbandry setup here with the actual shed, the building, the barn, whatever you want to call that and the silage clamp and all the rest of it. Uh, this is again just a standard sample mod map sample mod map there's very little on it it's pretty bad to be bare to be fair um it's got a few buildings here and there but otherwise it's pretty much uh, just a flattish sample mod map that you would use to create your own map on um i chose this because it's got exactly what i need really i didn't want to spend too much time having to move stuff around on a map that's already created when i can use this so uh, other than that there's no particular reason um so yeah how do we move the icons around well first of all let's bring up the map here and we'll have a look at the icons that we've got displayed already and you can see there just to the sort of lower left i've got my chicken one upper sort of left i've got my pigs and then i've got chickens is that chickens ducks i don't know what the hell that is over there um somewhere over there no idea we'll have a look in giant center anyway <laughs> i don't know what that, oh, it might be sheep actually <laughs> looks like a duck no i think that's a sheep <laughs> um, and then far bottom left by the shop we've got cows okay so what we're going to do here or what I'm going to do here is actually concentrate um, solely on the cows here I don't really want to mess around too much with the others but you can use the same um, idea to move the other icons around so what I'm going to do now is basically come out into Giants Editor and then we'll have a look in there and see what's going on and all the rest of it and how how I would set up the actual icons and how I move them around on the map itself. Um, so I'll see you in a little bit when we get into Giants Editor. Okay, so here we are in Giants Editor and I've come over by the actual cow setup here. If we come into the Cinegraph here, or the Scene Graph, however you want to pronounce that, I tend to say Cinegraph, but each to their own. Um, so we've got our animals. So if we open this one up, we've got our sheep, which is in a separate transform group on this map for some reason, but it doesn't really matter, it works just the same. So we've got our sheep, then we've got our chickens there, obviously our cows here, and then we've got our pigs over there. Or maybe it was pigs, not sheep. Who knows? Whatever. Like a duck to me. Um, but uh, what I'm going to obviously do here is work with the uh, cows, as I said, and... Uh, how do I go about moving those particular icons on the actual map to represent or display where the appropriate animal husbandry setup is on my map? Well, all we need to do is actually look into the map01.xml or whatever it might be called. If you're editing a map, for example, and you're moving stuff around, this might be called something else. If the creator of that particular map has not gone for the default setup and they've renamed it to something different, then you might find that that is called something different. But uh, Chances are, for most, I would say it's going to be just the standard default map 01.xml. Now, this particular map, this sample mod map that I'm using, didn't actually come with any hotspots in it at all, so I had to put some in from a different map. But that's fine, didn't really matter. Did what I needed it to do and displayed everything that it, uh, would work for this particular video. So I'm going to open up this map 01.xml in Notepad++ here, and we can see we've got some bits and pieces up top here. What we're going to pay attention to mostly in this particular, or for the most part, in this particular uh, video is the hotspots section and this will work for your shop your cows sheep pigs and chickens so you would need to adjust wherever you decide to place those particular areas um, on your map if you're going to be creating a map or if you're editing a map wherever you're going to be moving them to um, then this is what you would need to look at to then adjust those icons to display correctly on the map so what I'm going to be looking for here is my X map position and my Z or Z map position. What I need to do is obviously find that on my map itself. So how can I do that? Well, for me, this works really, really well. You may find a different way, uh, but I find that this is beneficial and does exactly what I want. I could use potentially a building here or something like that, um, but I'm going to do it this particular way. You may choose to do it differently. So what I've gone ahead and done here is I've actually exported a tree from another map and I've then created a folder in my maps folder here called imported and within there I've put a trees folder and I've just exported a spruce stage 5 from a different map. 
which also brought over the correct shaders and everything that I needed. So what I need to do here is go into the map again. I'm going to go into file and I'm going to go to import. And then I'm just going to come through and I've got my, I'm in the correct folder here, my mods folder, farming simulator 17, sample mod map, maps imported and then in trees. And I've got my spruce underscore stage 5 dot i3d. So I'm just going to double click that, bring it into the map and it will be brought in somewhere over there like so. Okay, so what I want to do is obviously bring it over here so that I can use it to um, get the attributes that I need to adjust my map 01.xml here. So if I highlight it in the Cinegraph, I'm just going to go Edit, Interactive Placement, and I'm going to bring it over like so. Didn't quite go down where I wanted it to, so I'm going to do that again. There we go, perfect. Sometimes if you've got areas within a close proximity, the Interactive Placement can tend to put them in an appropriate sort of inappropriate positions but uh, we'll try again and we get it right a second time so there we go um, okay so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to re-highlight my tree and what I'm looking for is the um, attributes in the right hand side here now this is quite important you need to um, work with something that's going to have the gizmo allocated to the center of the particular um, item that you're going to be using so if you choose to use something else you might find that the actual transform group won't represent the area that you're going to be wanting to put the icon and represent where this particular setup is with the icon so this particular building for example has a transform group or a gizmo somewhere in the middle of that particular building so that could work just the same um, I tend to like my icons not necessarily smack dab within the actual building. I prefer them to be somewhere a little bit away from it somewhat. So um, you could potentially put this tree or whatever you're going to use sort of further out if you wanted to. Why does it keep doing that? There we go. Let's click on that. So you could put it out here if you wanted to. It would depend on, you know, once you start building your map up and you create your area, you might want to have a sort of a, a largest area where you create your nav mesh for your cows to walk around in and whatever else so you might want to have the pda represent that um, with the icon somewhere out there not necessarily right next to the building but that would be on you to, to have a play around with i'm going to just basically stick with what i was going to do originally and put it somewhere here like that it's not buried within the building but it's also not um, too far away so that's what i'm going to use but like I was saying, if you're going to use something else, um, then make sure that the actual gizmo is represented somewhere central to the actual object that you're going to be working with, because you could use the attributes here in the right hand side, which is what the gizmo is actually showing those attributes for. It's not showing the attributes for the tree, it's showing the attributes for the gizmo. So if I click on something like this, again, that's in the center, so you could use that. Uh, that's again in the center, but there may be something that isn't necessarily um central that is again <clears throat> not having anything on the map to prove my point here but that's okay hopefully you get what i mean you're you're looking for something that the gizmo is going to uh, give you the attributes that you need and as i say it wants to be somewhere if you did have like for example if i clicked on this building and the gizmo was uh, over here somewhere which i have seen several times on different buildings um, then obviously you wouldn't be able to use those attributes because the attributes that you would be using would be the gizmo attributes and it would still then put the icon somewhere way over here so it would be useless um, I find a tree is the easiest way to do it uh, but um, I'll, you, know, you can experiment with that um, so yeah moving on um, so what I need to do here is look at those particular attributes that I've got in my window here on the right hand side and I'm looking for the translate X and translate Z or Z however you want to say that if I bring up the actual map 01.xml again and we look at our cows and we come across we've got this X map position and the Z or Z map position again um, so we need to change those to represent what is shown here in my attributes window so what I'm going to do here is first of all before I copy them over I want to actually have rounded off numbers I don't like numbers uh, where it's got the decimal point and a lot of digits after that. It's fine for when you're placing objects in the map, um, buildings and stuff like that, it may be required, but for this I think it's not necessary and it just adds more bits to this that I think are just not required. 
So what I'm going to do is actually click in the Translate X attribute here, and I'm going to remove those um, last digits there after the decimal point and including that. And we'll just see where it ends up. It shouldn't move too far. We'll do the same again with the Translate Z or Z. So we'll do that. And that's perfectly fine. I'm okay with that. I would be fine with that. Uh, showing my uh, icon on my PDA just there. That'll be perfect. So now what I can do is actually copy that. So I'm going to highlight the 415. Copy that, come over to my Matsu1.xml, come across to my X map position, and I'm just going to highlight that and then paste that in like so. Come back into my giant center session here, copy my um, minus 64 or negative 64, however you want to say that, copy that, come back over, and I've got my Z or Z map position, and again I'm going to just put that in there and paste it in, and there we go. And we're done. All I need to do now is just basically save that. We can close that down. Obviously, you would need to do the same for the other icons on your map. Uh, for whatever, if you're editing, uh, you might only be moving one one thing. If you're creating a map, then obviously you'd be working with all of them. So you would need to obviously um, put a tree somewhere where your shop's going to be, and then put a tree where your um, other animals are going to be. So if you've got your chickens over here, I would then perhaps maybe come over, move my tree over to here somewhere which would represent my chickens and then take the actual attributes only the translate x and translate z or z attributes and then work with those if i was working with pigs for example over here i could then move my tree over to here like so and then again use those translate x and translate z or z to then adapt whatever i needed for my pigs in here and that will then get all of the icons for those particular items in the right place on your map okay so i'm going to close this down um, i'm not going to mess about with the rest of them all i'm going to do here is just basically show you for the cows what i can do now though is i mean if i was going to use that particular tree on the map then it would be probably beneficial to leave it there but i don't need it for this particular uh, setup so what i'm going to do now is just delete it i don't need it there so once you've actually used the object you to get your attributes that you require you can then just remove it so it's not it doesn't need to stay on the map and i can then go ahead and shut this down i don't even need to save the map because i've not actually made any adjustments to the buildings or anything else so as long as you haven't saved then you wouldn't necessarily need to delete the tree because as soon as you close down giant Serta, it's not going to save it save the import so it'll be deleted anyway but i'm just going to delete it from the cinegraph just to make sure that it's actually gone because i don't want it there um, and so that's it yeah so all i'm going to do now is basically close this down we'll go back into game and we'll have a look and hopefully that icon is now moved from somewhere way over there and it represents on the map where my cows are or the cow husbandry setup is in for my map so okay so i'm going to see you in a little bit when we get back in again okay so here we are back in game again and obviously we've come over to the actual cow husbandry area again so if i now bring up the actual map we can see that we do actually have make it a bit bigger we do actually have our cow icon showing up on the map in exactly the right place where it needs to be so it's moved from somewhere down where the shop is the shop icon is on the map and we've moved it all the way over here to represent where our cow husbandry is so once this map if i was going to be making this map once it's all built up and everything i'd be able to locate this with no problem whatsoever so there we go so there's nothing really there more to tell you or show you uh, we've covered all of that so it's yeah just to go over it again really the, i use a tree but you can use whatever you want um just bring it into the map put it where you want it to be make sure that that gizmo is actually representing the center point of the um, area that you want the icon to uh, be shown on the map and then use those x uh, x and z or z translate attributes overwrite what you've got in your map 01.xml and then you're pretty much done so yeah, thanks very much for watching and I will catch you on the next one.